Hey everyone, it's Jenna Valley Dylan with Betches Campaign coming to you from El Paso. For those of you guys just checking this out this week, this is the beginning of a series we've been doing the last couple weeks to just give you a little bit of uh, an inside look on the campaign. So last week was a big week. Hopefully everyone got a chance to check out the debate, which we obviously totally won. It's hard to boil down in 10 minutes, which in fact, I'm not even sure if we got 10 minutes because um, we got nine fucking minutes. But what we saw from him is what you all know and what we see every day. Someone who is just gonna be direct and honest. I think you saw his passion when he was talking about guns. Certainly that made a little bit of news. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're gonna focus all of the attention that we can on continuing to push hard and being bold on gun reform. Talking about mandatory buybacks, something that only we have a plan for talking about the March for Our Lives, Pledge for Peace, that only Beto is, is signed on. These students who not only um, led in, in such a poignant way after such a horrible tragedy, but I would say almost single-handedly started to uh, take on uh, the NRA. And we have seen uh, the impact of that where the NRA is nowhere near how strong it's been. Even as we've seen the NRA um, lose some of its grip on our politics, it still uh, is putting fear in uh, many of our elected officials right now. We're actually getting pushback from leaders of our own party. Just been disappointed by, um, you know, what the the folks that are on Capitol Hill that are talking about how we have to be careful about what we say and we can't go too far because maybe there'll be a deal that Trump um, will support some kind of um, a path forward for gun reform. And I think. You and I know that's not true. The other things I want to highlight, we continue to be the candidate that is going to places that maybe you wouldn't expect. Beto loves it. Uh, you saw that firsthand as we were out in California the last couple of days. We also went to Skid Row and um, talked about uh, homelessness and, and spent time not only talking to organizations that work on Skid Row, but um, many of the women, women of color in particular, who, who live there and, and you know having a real conversation about what can be done about it. Also saw us at San Quentin. Beto spent time just talking to um, many of the folks there that are soon to be released, really talking about criminal justice reform, having a real conversation about um, uh, this country and, and prisons. And um, so look to see some more from us on that in the coming days. We rolled out our policy um, on the war on drugs and as Beto would say, the war on people and the importance of us as a country legalizing marijuana, but also doing the work uh, to ensure that people who've been put in jail um, because of, of marijuana usage um, are expunged from their record, are uh, you know let out of, of prison and jail if they're there now, and that we're doing something to ensure that we're helping with that transition. But also really thinking about um, equity when it comes to marijuana sales. And, okay, let me just get some water. <laughs> Let's check my text message. So I'm talking about Skid Row. I'm talking about uh, San Quentin. I'm talking about weed policy. So, you know, maybe you're saying, well, what does that have to do with running for president? We really believe that this campaign has to reflect and represent the kind of leader Beto will be as president. Part of what he did in, in Texas in the Senate race is showing up for people and bringing them into the process and making sure that everyone has a vote, no matter, uh, has a voice, excuse me, also a vote. Let's do more and make sure everyone has a vote. That wasn't the point of what I was saying. <laughs> but we should. <laughs> but we should. Just a couple things before uh, I sign off. Beto's birthday is coming up uh, on September 26th. I am also a September birthday, a Libra. Perhaps that's the thing that brought us together. Um, September 28th. Betcha's birthday. We're going to do some fun stuff. We're actually uh, heading this weekend to Iowa and we will be participating in the Harkin Steak Fry. It's now the Polk County Steak Fry. End of quarter for us. It's a very big financial milestone for the campaign. I know so many of you have already given time and time again um, and you have, you know, everything you're doing is the heart and soul of this campaign. But if you've got a few more bucks that you can give, Go to the website, BetoOverwork.com, or wait for an email from me. I'd like to, you know, do what I can to make sure that I juice my numbers on the emails I send. Really awesome to talk to you guys this week. Love this. Love talking to you guys. Maybe what we'll do next week is if a few questions come in, we can answer a couple questions. Send them in uh, to me. So you can send them to 
um, on social media or send them to the campaign and we'll, we'll find a way to respond to them. But thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this and I uh, can't wait to see you out there on the trail.